What's happening? It's, uh, it's day 40. Day 40 today, guys. And we're gonna hit some legs. If I look tired, it's because I am. But I do have the day off, so that's always a good feel. And uh, I don't really wanna fuck around too much, so we're gonna go downstairs, make a pre-workout, which is gonna be a coffee. <laughs> And uh, I'll make up my intra workout shake, which at the moment is two scoops of glycogen, which gives me 50 grams of carbs, and one scoop of all day you may, which gives me 10 grams of protein. And that is the ultimate ratio to mix as far as flavor goes, and it's exactly what I want throughout my workout. I'm not going to eat before I train, so I'm actually going to train fasted. I haven't trained legs fasted for a long, long, long time, and that's because you know, the results weren't there when I did it. But in saying that, I ate right up until I went to bed last night, which is at about midnight. Uh, it's like 8.30 in the morning right now, so I've had a good sleep. I've woken up feeling, you know, energized, recharged. I'm gonna to top myself up with some caffeine and go and hit some legs. So without further ado, I'll see you guys there. You know it's getting hot in Alice Springs when you can't leave anything in your car without it getting deformed or anything plastic. And all day you may, unfortunately, was uh, no different. Holy motherfucking shit. That was a good workout. Literally just finished the last set about a minute ago. It was the walking lunges. Didn't take any footage. I did my usual, which has been the start of every single leg workout lately, which is the hack squat, the pendulum squat that goes in an angle like this. I put I work up to my working set weight, which is three plates. I've been doing sets of 10. Today I did sets of like 12 to 14. So what that means to me is that my strength is going up, which is fantastic. From there I went to a leg press, I did five working sets. I went to leg extension, I did about seven or eight sets. Leg curl, I did fucking five or six sets, and then I did two sets of walking lunges right at the end to really fuck myself up. A two hour leg workout. A lot more volume than I'm used to, and I am absolutely fucked. My face feels like an absolute tomato right now. And I need some fresh air, oh god damn it. Let me get my breath back. So it's about 11 o'clock in the morning right now. And I'm about to go to the supermarket and get some food. I'm gonna do some meal prep when I get home. I'm gonna prep some uh, meat, prep some protein in bulk so I can put it in the freezer and get it out, take it to work with me. Like you guys have seen in some of the previous episodes, but I haven't actually been doing that lately. In fact, lately, probably for the last week, my diet has not been on point. So we've gotta get that on track and we're gonna do, we're gonna start that today so I'll see you guys at home all right just finished at the supermarket and um, yeah Alice Springs is really really turning it on today eh? not sure what's happening really we've had a bit of rain lately but uh, it's actually times like this that I enjoy the most here in Alice Springs I love the rain and um, as you guys may have, may or may not know, I'm obsessed with these scrolls that they make at the bakery that's opposite the supermarket. And now that I can eat, you know, 500 grams of carbs or so per day, I have been indulging on a probably every three day sort of basis. 
So I've bought four of them and I'll be eating them throughout the day. But uh, I've also bought bulk chicken breast so that, that is the meat that I'm going to be cooking in bulk and putting it into Tupperware containers. This fucking weather's pretty bad, eh? <laughs> I might be getting caught in something here. I think I'd better get home. Can you guys see anything? Because I can't. Where's all this water coming from? <laughs> what? I think the fucking whole place is flooded. <laughs> oh no, just this, just this area. Must be on a down slope. Fuck, I was worried then for a second. All right, everybody. So the time is actually about 7 o'clock and I am sipping on uh, on a coffee right now. Um, I had the day off today obviously. Um, yeah, after my leg workout I actually went home, I ate probably about 1500 uh, calories or so. Um, you know, good amount of carbs, probably about 250 grams of carbs and I went, in, I went straight into a carb coma. Um, I don't know if it's got anything to do with me fasting, training fasted, and then you know giving myself a huge uptake of carbs and just fucking saturating my body. Um, I don't know, <laughs> but basically I I went onto my bed, and next minute it was five o'clock at night. So I slept from about one thirty to five o'clock, and um, that's really weird. Like I never do that to be honest. But what it means is that I woke up feeling like a brand new man. And now I'm down at the gym again to do another session. So you can't go wrong, can you? I mean, I really don't give a fuck that, you know, it seems obsessive. People call it obsessive. But, but you know, obsessed is actually the word that lazy people use to describe the dedicated people. So um, I wouldn't call it an obsession. I'd call it dedication to a purpose and a vision of what I really want my body to look like. I've been inspired by the recent Mr. Olympia competition. Um, this is the one that I've, I've uh, watched the closest. I've probably been following the, the Olympia for five or six years. I've never watched everyone's like journey to the stage as closely as I have this year and I've really enjoyed it and <sighs> it's fucking amazing it makes me think man you know you only live once and if I had my finances sorted in the background so I wouldn't throw my life away to become a bodybuilder but if I did have you know a, a sound financial sort of um, backing fuck you only live once and <laughs> I'd love to be a bodybuilder so you never know maybe I'll go to um, Kuwait and get some of that anabolic chicken one day see what they can do with my body but for now staying natty on the road to 100 kilo we're about 96.5 kilo but I will weigh in right now when I go inside and we'll see what I'm weighing gym weight actually this morning I did weigh in I was 96.4 um, so let's see what I weigh when I go inside and then we're gonna train some shoulders and I'll see you guys post-workout. What's happening? What is going on everybody? It is 
it's the next day. Um, so right here, guys, I've got the uh, chicken and kangaroo that I bought yesterday from the supermarket. So I never actually ended up cooking that, but I will be uh, this morning. So yesterday afternoon, I went back to the gym <laughs> after I trained legs and I trained some shoulders. Um, that's what I normally do on a day off, you know, if, I, if I'm feeling good. Uh, feeling like I've got enough energy back, I will go back to the gym and do another session. So it was no different yesterday. But what that meant is that I didn't really have time to do any meal prep. Uh, so none got done. So that's it there. I've got diced chicken breast, about a kg. We've got normal chicken breast, about 1.2 kg. And we've got a kg of kangaroo mince. So I'm going to get that on right now. Um, I'll be using some of this as per usual and I might put some of this on it as well which is pretty nice so I'm gonna get onto that and I'll see you guys when I'm done alright so while that's cooking I do have something to show you guys I finally finally got my jumper that came in the mail my personalized jumper so that is fantastic I'm gonna wear it to the gym today but I'll show you guys first because it's fucking sick. I love it. Moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. That's right. <laughs> See that shit? Now you know. Alright guys, so just a quick word on the jumper. Here it is. I've already had a couple of people hit me up and want one, but the fact is, is that I actually ordered it off a website called Spreadshirt.com. Um, up until recently I thought they fucked me over and I wasn't actually going to get the jumper because it took like three weeks to get here which is ridiculous but it finally came and I couldn't be happier with it I actually love like the crew neck style to be honest um, without even this you know natty being on the front um, it's really like baggy throughout the arms and the, and the torso but then it comes in at the bottom so it comes in at the bottom with the sleeves and uh, at the bottom of the torso so that's the kind of style that I'm really liking at the moment you know baggy sort of old school bodybuilding sort of stuff and especially like with t-shirts and that as well like I like the baggy sort of stuff a low a low v-neck and long sleeves so that they cover the entire bicep the last thing I want I fucking hate these you know Gymshark and Alpha Elite tops that are so tight they're tight as fuck and it's like <laughs> unless you've got an amazing impressive physique they're gonna look like shit you're gonna look like a skinny cunt in a really really tight top and that's not what I want I want to have a nice physique underneath baggy clothing in the gym so that's the way I'm going <clears throat> I'm also your old school sort of gym wear but uh, yeah really stoked with this uh, cost me about 50 bucks altogether with with the uh, screen print and uh, postage as well so it cost me 50 bucks to get this to my door I ordered it online <clears throat> not sure if I could get them cheaper or not I probably could if I wanted to buy more but uh, at the moment I just got the one, so I'm really stoked with it, and I can't wait to wear it to the gym. So, yeah, that's it, man. So the, <clears throat> so the meal prep's all done. Just before I do go, guys, I wanted to show you guys another purchase that I made, which are Versa Grips. I think they're called Versa Grips, but these ones are actually made by Riderwear, and um, basically they just act as a strap does, but I think they're a lot more user friendly and um, yeah basically you just strap, strap this around your wrist and then what that does is creates this little cup thing here so this rubber rubber mat is uh, on the inside of your hands and as you cup, cup your hand around the bar um, apparently it grips like fuck and I haven't used them yet so I'll probably be using them today, maybe, for some biceps and possibly on triceps as well. But I think they're going to be pretty versatile. You can use them on pretty much anything. And, um, yeah, I've heard a lot about them. What this also means is that you can do one overhand and one underhand grip on deadlifts without having to, you know, try and wrap yourself up, and which can be quite hard sometimes. So that is going to be really good because I do want to change my form from double overhand to one underhand, one overhand. I think that's going to be uh, good for me in the future as I increase the weight um, eventually I don't want to use straps at all so this is definitely a um, gonna get me on my way to not using straps whatsoever but 
Man, I can just imagine on a pull down or something, it's going to be sick. So these are my latest purchase for the gym at least. And I can't wait to use them. So this is where it's going to end, guys. This episode was uh, day number 40 and 41. I've got a night shift tonight, which is all good. Should be pretty easy. I'll, uh, I'll probably be editing this video up while I'm at night shift. And tomorrow is day 42. That means it's six weeks. Um, six sevens of 42. That's 42 days. It means it's been six weeks since I started this, uh, this series. And... It's going really well. So tomorrow I'm going to finally do a proper weigh-in, a proper physique update, which I haven't done, and I'll tell you guys how my training's gone, how my macros have gone. I'll do a complete uh, full update on everything. So that should be good. Until then, guys, have a great day. Train hard, eat well. I'll be doing the same thing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Hey!